Hey guys, this is Jeff from SmokingTJets.com. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a product review, and I uh, thought I'd do one on one of these little Herbies that I got. got this little, um, this little bug here, and it's made by Dash. And oh my gosh, um, if y'all aren't familiar with Dash, they do some superb work. Let me get my camera set here. Um, I can't see nothing good about these guys. <clears throat> As you're seeing, look at the shine of this thing. The the, the chrome on the bumpers, um, absolutely wonderful. The um, the detailing that they've done, the 53s, the silver accents on the side, both the stripes. They went as far as um, painting the headlights, as far as a chrome ring around the headlights. You got the running lights that are um, working there. It's just really, really, really nice. The, again, a 53 on the back, both the tail lights, um, chrome bumper in the back and again just look at the uh, reflection of the light shining off this piece very 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 nice product um, I also want to re um, bring your attention to the, the quality of the plastic they use I'm going to grab a uh, <coughs> old uh, T-Jet here and just the just the um, plastic itself when you when you can feel I don't want to say it's flimsy but compared to compared to the, the dash one, you can tell it's much more rigid, much more durable. I really, 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 really like the dash product here. I think these guys are going way above and beyond as far as the quality of what they're uh, producing for the uh, uh, price that you pay. I think that uh, these guys are really, really producing a good product. Um, this is kind of a bonus video too because the second part of this video I want to talk about the chassis you'll do a little bit of a chassis review on the chassis that I got for this um, uh, for this little Herbie bug uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video I'm going to take it apart so I can get at the chassis and uh, I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you what's going on with the chassis oh there we go I got a, I didn't have to unscrew it very good okay um, <clears throat> At first look, at first look, you're going, okay, great. It's it looks like a tough ones. They have the um, uh, the tough ones rims and everything. It looks like the tough ones tires. It looks like it was set up to be a tough ones. It's not. What it is is it, to me, it looks like somebody was trying to um, create a tough ones with the parts that they had. The, for instance, here, here's an example: the, the the back tires. They look like they're perfect in the wide tires. But what they actually are is they're two repro tires put on one of the Tough Ones uh, rims there. So that, I thought, was a good idea. If you didn't have the Tough One tires, you could use two uh, tires, put them both on the rims there, and it would act like the, uh, and look like the uh, Tough Ones. Um, I'm going to turn the car around. Look at the, um, look at the uh, front axle there. What, what's interesting about that is it's, it's, it's not a, a T-Jet axle by any means and it's a little bit longer than a, a normal uh, axle would be but you'll notice that the rims aren't the tough one rims and what the uh, what they've done for spacers is in here and in here they put the um, two springs on the axle to keep the uh, tires away and I know it's hard to see it's very 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 hard to see but on the inside of the spring touching the chassis there there's also a washer here and a washer there so the spring uh, spins smoothly so it's a, a really 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 good idea a, a nice way to keep thin rims away like the tough ones were I thought that was an interesting idea um, they also went as far as uh, ahead as far as they soldered the uh, engine gear and the drive gear they didn't want any slippage they didn't want any slippage uh, to further set it up like a tough ones they got the appropriate crown gear um, there and I know I know I know it's hard to see but uh, they also have the the, the, the the appropriate drive gear set up to, to do like the tough ones as well so um, again if you don't have all the parts to make a tough ones chassis like you might want to what was interesting is 
whoever did this found a way to make it work. And I was just impressed with it. When I got it, I didn't have the heart to uh, discombobulate it all. It runs very, very well. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about it. So again, if you don't have all the parts and you're scrounging for stuff, there's ways to make it work, guys. This is just a real good example of that. All right. Hope you enjoyed the review. This is uh, Jeff from SmokingTJets.com. See you in the next video, guys.